Ladies and gentlemen, adventurers of the cosmos, welcome back to our channel, where we're about to take you on a mind-blowing journey beyond our planet. Strap in tight as we explore a topic that's extraordinary, NASA's audacious message to the great unknown. That's right, we're talking about reaching out to whoever might be out there among the stars. Get ready for an interstellar journey through NASA's exploration, excitement coursing through your veins because we're diving headfirst into NASA's cosmic voicemail to the universe. Strap in tight as we explore a topic that's nothing short of extraordinary, NASA's audacious message to the great unknown. Stand by, Houston. In the vastness of the galaxy, humanity has been searching for a way to reach out and connect with one another. That's where the concept of a beacon in the galaxy comes in. Beacons are a way of sending messages to the stars, using radio waves to transmit information across space. It's like a beacon of hope, a way of sending a message of peace and connection to our universe. Beacons are a powerful way of connecting with our universe and they're becoming more and more popular as humanity continues to explore the stars. Although human language and culture are essential to understanding who we are as individuals and how we interact with others, extraterrestrial intelligence might struggle to make sense of them. These researchers claimed that using binary to transmit a message will be understood by every form of intelligence in the universe. The message is divided into 13 sections, 25,500 bytes or around 204,000 effective binary digits. These same scientists decided that the SETI telescope in California and the FAST telescope in China would be in a good position to send a message into space based on the best time during a specific year. There's also a timestamp encoded corresponding to when it was sent into space relative to a chronology that begins with the Big Bang. So, if you're looking for a way to reach out to the stars, a beacon in the galaxy could be the answer. This is W9GFO here. The Arecibo message is not a scene from a movie, but rather a real-life interstellar radio message sent from Earth to a distant star cluster. On November the 16th, 1974, Humanity sent its first and only interstellar message into deep space. It was sent in the form of a radio transmission from the Arecibo Observatory in Puerto Rico. The content of the Arecibo message was designed by Frank Drake, then at Cornell University and creator of the Drake Equation, who wrote the message with help from Carl Sagan and others and sent it in the direction of a star cluster known as M13. This message was our first attempt to communicate with the rest of the universe. In order to make this message understandable to any extraterrestrial life that may receive it, the scientists used a binary code, which represented a graphic image of our solar system and the human DNA structure. The transmission was sent with the hope that any intelligent life that received it would be able to decode it and understand the message. The Arecibo message will take approximately 25,000 years to reach its destination and we'll never know if anyone ever receives it. But it is a testament to the human spirit and our desire to explore and discover the unknown. Excitement and anticipation filled the air as scientists around the world prepared to make contact with alien life. What would they find? Would they be friendly? Would they be hostile? For more than half a century, NASA has been the leader in space exploration, pushing the boundaries of what was thought possible. But now the space agency is pushing its own limits in a unique and innovative way. NASA recently announced a new partnership with Pioneer Plagues, a company focused on developing commercial technologies for space exploration. But in the remote contingency that there are interstellar spacefaring societies which might someday pick up this derelict no longer radioing, we thought we would put a message on it to indicate a little bit of where we are, when we are, and who we are. 
The collaboration will help NASA produce mission-critical hardware and software to improve space exploration. The collaboration will bring together the best of both worlds to create new and innovative solutions for space exploration. Pioneer Plagues will be able to provide NASA with the latest technology and expertise to help push the boundaries of exploration even further. By partnering with Pioneer Plagues, NASA is cementing its position as the leader in space exploration. With the help of this innovative collaboration, NASA will be able to take space exploration to a whole new level. Stephen Hawking Anomaly and starts monitoring its trajectory. For centuries, humans have looked to the stars in search of intelligent life beyond our own. But what if, in doing so, we were inviting danger to our doorstep? As we all know, the brilliant genius of our time, Stephen Hawking, he expressed concerns about the potential dangers of actively trying to make contact with extraterrestrial beings. He believed that advanced alien civilizations might possess technology and intentions that could be harmful to us. As a precaution, he suggested that we should proceed with caution and carefully consider the consequences before attempting to communicate with aliens. In the realm of space exploration, a divisive debate emerged as some scientists decided to send messages into the cosmos, revealing Earth's location to potential extraterrestrial beings. This choice, though controversial, has been made despite the late Stephen Hawking's solemn warning. As these messages journey through the void of space, humanity holds its breath, grappling with the question of whether this endeavor will ultimately lead to discovery or unforeseen consequences. So, the scientists have taken a risk and sent the message out into the universe. The question now is, will anyone receive it? Could the vastness of the universe finally be within reach? Astronomers and astrophysicists believe that by the end of the decade, we may be able to detect and receive messages from alien civilizations. Advances in technology have made this possible. Scientists are developing new ways to detect signals from space and are developing new algorithms to decode them. Scientists are working hard to uncover these mysteries of the universe and to find out if we're truly alone. Imagine receiving a cosmic hello from the heart of our Milky Way galaxy. A message that could change our perspective on our place in the universe. In a groundbreaking new study, scientists suggest that signals originating from the center of the Milky Way could potentially be a form of communication from alien civilizations. Every day, scientists send out signals to the Voyager and the New Horizon through the super-powered and super-focused radio array used to transmit data into deep space. But now they think there might be a chance that the signals might travel and reach distant planets. But the problem was after a certain the signal spreads out too much and become unreadable for alien civilization to decode. And for that reason, the Deep Space Network DSN was formed, which was built specifically to communicating interstellar distances. In 1974, the most powerful broadcast ever deliberately beamed into space was made from Puerto Rico. The broadcast formed part of the ceremonies held to mark a major upgrade to the Arecibo radio telescope. The transmission consisted of a simple pictorial message aimed at our putative cosmic companions in the globular star cluster M13. This cluster is roughly 21,000 light years from us, near the edge of the Milky Way galaxy, and contains approximately a third of a million stars. The broadcast was particularly powerful because it used Arecibo's megawatt transmitter attached to its 305-meter antenna. The latter concentrates the transmitter energy by beaming it into a very small patch of sky. The emission was equivalent to a 20 trillion watt omnidirectional broadcast and would be detectable by a SETI experiment just about anywhere in the galaxy, assuming a receiving antenna similar in size to Arecibo's. The message consists of 1,679 bits, arranged into 73 lines of 23 characters per line. These are both prime numbers and may help the aliens decode the message. The ones and zeros were transmitted by frequency shifting at the rate of 10 bits per second. The total broadcast was less than three minutes. A graphic showing the message is reproduced here. It consists, among other things, of the Arecibo telescope, our solar system, DNA, a stick figure of a human, and some of the biochemicals of earthly life. Although it's unlikely that this short inquiry will ever prompt a reply, the experiment was useful in getting us to think a bit about the difficulties of communicating across space, time, and a presumably wide culture gap. 
they found a handful of stars that might have felt the impact of these radio waves. One of them is a white dwarf star, which is this incredibly dense star that forms when a bigger star reaches the end of its life. This one's just 27 light years away from us. As NASA continues to send out signals in hopes of reaching intelligent life beyond our planet, a fascinating scenario is unfolding. According to a recent study, there's a chance that we might receive responses to these signals from aliens as early as 2029. Okay. Broadcasting status, listening for telemetry signal. Uh -huh. Okay. Imagine an extraterrestrial civilization detecting our signals and responding with their own messages. The vast distances between stars means that these responses would have been sent years ago and we're only now receiving them. Our ability to decode and understand these messages would be a remarkable accomplishment, demonstrating the power of human ingenuity. The anticipation of receiving messages from distant civilizations ignites our curiosity and reminds us that the cosmos is teeming with possibilities. As we look to the future, we eagerly await the day when we might hear the whispers of an alien civilization amidst the stars. Until next time, keep your eyes and ears open to the universe's mysteries.